Welcome back to the PAC Sports Network at the half, and we're joined by Chatham University junior guard Katie Sig. And uh, Katie, well, first off, thanks for being with us today. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, terrific seasons the last couple of years for the Chatham Cougars, garnering PAC tournament wins. Um, what's the excitement coming into this season, especially for you now as a junior? Um, I just think uh, last year we ended on on a note where we thought we could have done better at our St. Vincent game. So with that, we had a lot of fire and a lot of uh, fuel to the, for this season, and we want to, uh, you know, prove ourselves to prove to ourselves that we can really uh, compete at, in the pack. Looking at last year's first round game at Bethany, um, you you lost to Bethany just before that mm -hmm. in a landslide win for the Bison, as it turned out. Um, you lose Ashley McLean right before that as well, so you're without one of your better guards, um, and yet you still go in on the road, hostile environment, and come up with a tournament victory. What does that say about the character of this Chatham team? You know, I think it just means and it says that we're not going to back down and give up. Like you said, we did lose, I think, by around 30 points um, a week before that playoff game to Bethany. So going down there, you know, saying where you need to play better and actually doing it, you know, we, we uh, follow through with what we're going to do. Now, you were named second team all PAC last year. What does that kind of recognition mean to you? Um, I, I really do appreciate it. I, I work hard, and I want to do the best that I can for myself and for this team. I really want um, the team to succeed in the best that we can. Last year, you had a breakout season, averaged 16 points per game. What led to your breakout year? Um, I think it was a combination of having experience from the year before. Uh, my teammates, they were awesome. And um, just I practiced over the summer, really worked hard, and it led to a, a successful year. One of your teammates, also your sister, Megan Sig, but unfortunately, Megan not going to play this year because of a knee injury she sustained during the soccer season. Um, first of all, tell us how Megan's doing. We've had her on uh, one of these interviews on in the past before, so tell us how she's doing. We obviously wish her well, and um, and also talk about what it's going to be like for you playing without her this year on the court. Yeah, right now she's doing really well. She's rehabbing her knee. Um, she's going to get surgery in December, so probably that is going to be a little rough patch coming back from it but right now she's doing really well um i don't know what her plans are for the future right now so she might come back she might not come back um it's all up to her but for this season i think it it is going to be weird playing without her i, I always look forward to it i love basketball and uh, having her out there it's just this like comfort thing because i know how she plays she knows how i play so Without her out there, it's, it's experience lost, and personally, it's like one of my comfort uh, people out there who's lost, so um, it's upsetting, but she's, she's still here. She's still going to be on the bench. She's still helping uh, with the coaching and everything, so that's really good. I know the team uh, loves her being around, so... And, and that's a big part of it, too. It's not like she's not going to be with the mm -hmm. team. I mean, she'll still be there kind of as, I guess, an extension of Coach Rechtenwald. Yeah. Um, you know, how beneficial will that be? I mean, obviously, you'd rather her be out there actually on the floor, but how beneficial will it be to have her there in some capacity? Oh, it's going to be so helpful just because she knows how we play. She's been out there. She's played with us. So having her watch us play now, and we can go down to her at the end of the bench when we get subbed out and be like, Megan, what what are we doing wrong? What can we work on? And she's she's there to be like, okay, next time do this, this, and this because she knows how we play and she knows how we can um, adjust to everything. So it's going to be a huge help. You're a two-sport athlete. You also play soccer here at Chatham. Good season for mm -hmm. Chatham soccer, 11 wins. Uh, you know, tell us about the fall and, and how much fun it is to be out there on the soccer pitch. Uh, soccer is so much fun. Uh, we have about 30 people on our team, so so many people, so many different personalities. Uh, and a ton of great talent so when we play uh, it's just a lot of fun a lot of good soccer because everyone is so talented you're a multi-sport athlete at Sarah Catholic High School as well as you are now here at Chatham uh, how much difficult how much more difficult is it for you to be a multi-sport athlete at the collegiate level compared to high school um, I think in high school the workload is hard but in college it just goes up 10 notches um, but being a double sport athlete, it really has helped me with my time management skills. And I, I know I'm going to class from this time to this time. I'm going to practice and then I'm going to do homework because if I don't, I have no other times to do it. So um, in high school, I feel like I kind of could have 
just, you know, did my homework, went to practice, but I had a lot of time. Now I'm like, okay, this is when I need to do everything because practice is intense and classes are hard. And um, yeah, I think it just is more difficult, but definitely something that um, has helped me with uh, time management. And at Sarah Catholic, you were a 1,000 point scorer mm -hmm. on the basketball court. Uh, tell us about your time there and, and, and what that was like for you. Uh, high school was great. We made it to um, the Whitfield Championship, Championship two years in a row. So honestly, playing down there was an experience of a lifetime. Being able to do that with my sister and some of my really good friends to this day played on that team. So it was just an awesome experience to, to be on that team. Scoring 1,000 points was great, too. I, I never... In, dreamed I would do that um, and it was just uh, an amazing feeling. As far as uh, being a multi-sport athlete, is there anything on the soccer pitch that you feel like benefits you in the game of basketball? Yes. Uh, over the summer I worked out to become stronger. That's what I really focused on and this year in soccer I could definitely tell that um, Myself and my soccer teammates, we were much more physical and we could handle like banging into each other. So practices were physical and we were really testing each other. So I feel like that coming into um, basketball season from soccer, it, it helps me um, be stronger, more in shape. I am definitely uh, not as winded as I have been in the past years. So that's a plus, but it just, it gets me in shape and um, I'm definitely stronger, so I, I credit that to myself and my teammates who, in soccer, we push each other a lot, so. You're a junior, a biology major as well here at Chatham. Obviously, you still have a year left of mm -hmm. basketball and school, but uh, tell us about your plans for the future. Um, hopefully, I'm going to get into PA school to be a physician assistant. That is um, the future plan, so that's what I'm looking forward to, and along with that, just finish out my year and a half here left so that's what I'm looking forward to. That's junior guard Katie Sig of the Chatham Cougars. Katie thanks for your time and good luck. Thank you very much. We'll have the second half of today's ball game when we come back on the PAC Sports Network.